Hello, Christo Bjorkman. Hi. So the technological innovations in the semi are amazing. Yeah. Um, was it difficult, for instance, to have David Lindgren and Victoria in the semi? Um, well, it's, it, it's actually very intriguing, uh, both with uh, David and Victoria and Isa is also very tricky. Uh, so we have three uh, challenges this week to sort out. And it was a long night uh, last night. Uh, I think our multi-camera director sat here till 3.30, uh, redoing and re-scripting the, the shots. Uh, and uh, it, it's advanced, it really is. But that's also the, uh, the way to go forward. I mean, we, we challenge ourselves every time, every, every week. <laughs> and um, hopefully the result is going to be good for the viewers. And did you feel pressure to outdo yourself technically after Mon Zelmerlove last year? Uh, <clears throat> yes, <laughs> always. You always want to do better. You always want to aim higher. And um, so we do that all the time. Uh, and, and we have to because we've done this for 15 years now, <laughs> this concept. And we have to redo it and we have to, to actually develop it further. Um, and you think every time, we can't do this better but you always find ways to, to actually find new ways. And do you feel extra pressure as the host broadcaster to have a fantastic act? Um, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fair enough. And you yourself have a long history with Eurovision. In fact, you competed at Eurovision in Malmö. Uh, I'm curious, how have you seen the city change in all that time? Oh, th this city has changed enormously since 92. Uh, at that time it was a uh, quite depressing city. It was, uh, it was, uh, the economy was really bad. Uh, lots of their industries, their old, uh, what they were known for before with the shipyards and everything, that was sort of going down the drain. And they were in a transition that started there and where they, uh, you know, totally changed the concept of how they would be perceived. And that work has been fantastic. They've rebuilt a whole area of the city where all these shipyards were before, and this is now a hyper-modern uh, part of the city. Uh, so they've done a really good job. And uh, when we were here in 13, we stayed here for like six or eight weeks, and we totally fell in love with the city. It's, it's an amazing city. It's very vibrant. It's very here and now. And you, you can actually feel how close it is to, to a capital you get that influence or over the bridge here. <laughs> and final question I've always wanted to ask you, do you still cut hair? Never. <laughs> Never. I haven't, I haven't done that in such a long time. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Christopher. You're welcome.